Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Sounds like a dork. It's the chronic what calls of Narnia. It's the chronic <laughs> what calls of Narnia. Uh, <laughs> do you do you do you know what that's from? I don't want to speak to you. Oh. <laughs> no, I just This shouldn't have been done. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of here? Uh, hold on. Find out more. No, we find out more clues. Yeah, well, we already went through this whole place. Oh, okay. And talked to Hey, as long as, if you think we're done, it's going to be like, you failed. Everything. This uh, guy got a little drunk. He's fallen over. Oh, no, he's on a cross. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Oh yeah, because they were like, I'm like, I'm like humble because I'm not saying that I'm Jesus, so crucify me upside down. Wasn't that what it was? Well, I assume so. Oh. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first <laughs> time I've seen brush strokes like this. I think that that was the thing. Like, it, they said that they wanted to be crucified upside down because they didn't want to... To be like Jesus? Well, they didn't want to like, uh, like be presumptuous that they were somehow in any way like Jesus. If I was killing these people, I wouldn't listen to them, but I guess, you know, dying wish. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. We talked to this guy before. Find clues about your mother. Oh yeah, the cross of St. Peter is the upside down cross, but in recent times has also been used as an anti-Christian or satanic symbol. <laughs> Keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was uh, from a Catholic tradition that uh, Peter was crucified upside down. Yeah, who's the oh, most metal guy? You he, know the Pope has an upside down... Um, cross he, on his throne. Well, he requested this form of crucifixion as he felt he was unworthy to be crucified in the same manner that Jesus died. Mm -hmm. As such, some Catholics use this cross as a symbol of humility and unworthiness in comparison to Jesus. So that, uh, therefore, the papacy, the Pope, is often represented by symbols that are also used to represent Peter, one example being the keys of heaven and another example of the Petrine cross. Mm -hmm. Because the Pope is the Peter's nightmare. successor. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. <laughs> no, nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Mr. President, what do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I am very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. I wonder what promise Lord Mortimer could have made to make him agree to come here, given the circumstances. Who knows? Mr. President, can you tell me a little more about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory regularly organize meetings like this to put forward major projects. What do you mean by major projects? I'd prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Not in the slightest. None of the guests know the theme before arriving. But you'll see. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry. I know what it is. Well... Ahead, Thank you for your time. Don't about mention oh. it, my young friend. Mortimer. So he, there's... Regarding your question oh. on the nightmare, <sighs> don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. That's a good idea. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, what were you saying? So they're saying that he gets together all of these like rich and influential people, right? Mm -hmm. What if like we come to the end of this and he's like, okay, I want to give you my spiel on timeshares. <laughs> and really he's trying to get us to all go in on a timeshare condo together in like France. 
And he's like, don't forget about the war or whatever. Forget the about the wars and everything. That's all, you know, we could get in on a timeshare condo. Is it, you make nothing but money. Yeah. Is you make money you, and you have a vacation home. It'll be great. We're all rich. We enjoy being rich together. That's how it is. Yeah. Oh, look, there's more monarch butterflies that are here somehow. Either that or maybe it's one of those, like, like multi-level marketing schemes. He's actually an Avon salesman. <gasps> Sir Holm is an Avon salesman. That's, That's why it. he has all the makeup Mary on. Mary Kay. Yeah. He's oh, a Mary, Mary Kay. Kay. He's a Mary Kay. He's, he's, he's aiming for that pink Cadillac. And so now he has to sell makeup to all his friends. Look, there's butterflies here. Mm-hmm. Where are they coming from? Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Mm-hmm. So there's actually a book that came out about Circe. Um. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Dude has a major bug infestation. Okay, we've been in this hall before. See? It came out recently. It's kind of like a historical fiction book. Cool. So pretty. It reminds me of, like, that castle in the clouds in Game of Thrones, you know, where they're, like, all up high, and then they throw people through the middle of the floor. Oh, the one where, um, what's her face is... Suckles her son, even though he's, like, 15. Okay, well, he's five in the books, but okay. Okay, well, <laughs> you, you get it, though. Yeah, uh, Cat, Cat, Catelyn's sister. Mm-hmm. And she's all kind of weird, and... I mean, they... The reason they include that is because there's, but they, they're framing it as like, this is a little odd, you know? She's just a weirdo. Because huh? he's like, he's like a, if I remember correctly, he's kind of like a, he's a weaker boy, and so, but he's she. He's frail and he has seizures. Yeah, and she coddles him, I guess, is how they frame it. He, yeah, he has a lot of seizures, and, uh. And then, what's her face? Sansa has to take care of him and shit. Okay, hold on. So we're supposed to be finding out more clues about her note. What was her note? Um. Try pressing. We're X. just supposed to be talking. I did. Oh. We're supposed to be talking to people. So we've been through all these areas. Just gonna take a quick run around. Oh, look! Like we're getting closer to whatever it is that we're supposed to be seeing. No, that's actually just the countdown for the buff that you used. Oh. I was like, yeah, we're getting closer. No, my, no. it's a it's a countdown. Yeah. Um, it So it, it displays vulnerabilities, but you have to use it and then I guess get into conversation with a person. President George Washington. Which is kind of tricky because it's. I feel like you don't always know when you're going to get into a conversation with a person. Like, especially for a confrontation. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, okay, here. Hey, girl. Yeah. What do you want, Louis? I have a question that might seem a bit strange, but... Go on. If I said, the music's go good. beyond the nightmare, would that mean anything to you? Mm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? It can be a place. I don't know where, but it, it's a lead, I think. You ought to ask his eminence. He knows the house and its estate very well, being a frequent visitor. I believe Maybe he's in it's the behind the salon. painting. Thank <gasps> you for your advice. It's... I know. It's behind the painting of that thing that was sitting on her chest, because it's a nightmare. Yeah. What so do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. <laughs> His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. Ah, nice. so that's why Napoleon was throwing shade and being like, he has all these fancy titles and he doesn't earn any of them. It's because he's the Queen's lover. Well, he did earn them. I doubt that Lord Mortimer invited him for his charm, if you want my opinion. Emily, 
What can you tell me about the coming conference? Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer organize this kind of high society meeting every so often in order to consider the world situation. But to what purpose? Well, by bringing together the most influential people from the dominant nations of the modern world, they allow the mighty to discuss matters with calm clarity. There are precedents of armistices being signed at the end of these talks, you know. Talking while holding a glass of brandy makes things easier. You'll see. You're leaving me? Unfortunately, I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. Let's go to the Grand Salon, because she said that that's where, um, I, that's where the, uh, what's-his-face, the holy guy. I would like to go upstairs first, if you don't mind. Yep. I want to check behind the painting. I almost fell down in an endless hole. Beyond the nightmare. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me, uh... Look I don't know, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Dear Mr. Guido Poletti, I'm writing with regard to the dates of the paintings that I sent to you for your temporary exhibition. Please note that they are part of my private collection and are dated according to the Freemason's calendar, AL, in use at the time. As you may well have guessed, you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised at the dating of the works. No need to remind you that the Freemason year, AL, begins in March, not January. About the Longinus painting, I took the liberty to have the spear touched up so it better corresponds to the actual spear. I cannot urge you strongly enough to do the same for yours. Yours sincerely, Lord William Alexander Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Mark, Mark, Mark. So either they're doing fake paintings, or they're, some, they're from the future. Mm -hmm. They're time travelers, Stacy. Mm -hmm. No, or they're fake people. Uh -huh. Accounts for the year. Stuff. Food, candles, dressed stone. Master paintings. Remember to reduce wood consumption next year. Why would they know that? Wait! Uh, maybe they know of a food shortage. Or maybe. A wood shortage. Yeah, people eat wood. Shoot. Wood shortage. Let's take a closer look. Eat one. It's poop. Take a chocolate. Uh, no. <laughs> let's not. I don't want to. Uh, uh, they're going to be like, did you take my fucking chocolate? What's this painting? The Nightmare Painted by mm. Fusilli in 1781. Wow, it's called The Nightmare. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. I feel like that bird's gonna give us a good hint. Yeah. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. Don't do it yet, I wanna talk to the bird. Do there it. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Let's go talk to that bird. He seems to know what's up, but first, what's this? Oh, maybe we take something for the bird to eat? Oh, wait, yeah, don't give it chocolate. <laughs> Might come in handy. He's gonna be like, did you kill my fucking bird? No. Yeah. <laughs> Leviathan. A minor bird. Waldo, pretty boy Waldo. Well, pretty Waldo, boy. is your master good? Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Let's first try to find something that won't kill the bird. I don't think this book can help me. I'm worried that the because the berries are red that the berries are poisonous, but mm. I don't know. But I mean, mm. is it better to no. give it chocolate? Mm. Let's look I elsewhere. I don't know. Like, is chocolate toxic to birds? I know they're bad for dogs. <sighs> I worry about poisoning this bird. <laughs> if only we could, like, examine it. Let's take a closer look. 
dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. Well, beans. They're greatly prized in no. high society. I worry that the berry is going to be worse than the chocolate bean. A minor bird. Hold on. Let's just see, is chocolate toxic to birds? Because if it's toxic, the, the thing I worry about is that, like, dark chocolate with, like, the caffeine content, if something is not used to eating it, it can make it really sick. Because birds eat shit. However, even in very small amounts, they can be toxic to birds. Okay. Give because It's serious. because of the caffeine, like I said. But... Ask Tell me the, the door code. Here I am talking to a bird. Shame on me. Well, Waldo, is your master good? Waldo. I don't really know what I was expecting. Sarah Deriche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah. What about Sarah? Good God, what's been happening here? <laughs> okay. Uh, he keeps mentioning Waldo. Maybe I, there's like, I gotta find Waldo. Uh, like a reference to a painting or something? A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. History of the First Crusades by mm. Pierre Amédée de la Salle. Strange. All the dates are all wrong. They indicate events that took place in the year 5000 and something? Wait, did I miss something? You subtract 4,000 years, right? Or, yeah. Wait, but he was saying that it was... The Crusades uh, took place not long after the year 1000. But you subtract 4, Here all the dates say 5000 and something. I'm guessing this dating system begins 4,000 years before the calendar that we use. Yet, I'm getting the feeling that there's something else, another small detail, but but what is it? Oh, First Crusade. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... So then it would be 5-1-something-something? But this is the Second Crusade. It would be 0-1... Or no, 1... Oh, that would be... Or, how Louis the Seventh, King of France, eager to be pardoned for the death of thousands of innocent people in the fire of the Church of Vitry, convinces the Pope to authorize him to lead his own crusade. The result? In Germany, a new outburst of violence against the Jewish community. And a monumental fiasco by poor Louis the Seventh, cuckolded by his wife's uncle. Oh, so are we talking... We're... We're looking at the date of the First Crusade, right? Yeah, so let's just... The famous call from Pope Gregory VIII in his Odita Tremendi Bull of 5,187. Oh, the crusade where Richard the Lionhearted distinguished himself. It states the first sea blockade of Saint-Jean-d'Acre was broken in the 12th month of 5,190 AL, whereas the siege had been going on for two years. famous call of Pope Urban II. Twenty years after the capture of Jerusalem from the Arabs by the Turks, Urban II convened the council. He promises a plenary indulgence to Christians who go and get Jerusalem back from the Turks. The result, the Jewish community on the road to Jerusalem found itself persecuted for no reason. 12,000 Jews would perish, not to mention the massacre of Ma'ara, where acts of cannibalism by Frankish crusaders were reported or even the capture of Jerusalem, where approximately 30,000 were left dead. It signaled the beginning of centuries of wars of religion. The Crusades took place not long after the year 1000. Here all the dates say 5,000 and something. 
I'm guessing this dating system begins 4,000 years before the calendar that we use. Yet, I'm getting the feeling that there's something else, another small detail, but... But what is it? Okay, let's just walk around a bit. I have a feeling that those dates have something to do with the code. Yeah, so if you subtract 4,000, then all of the dates begin with 1. I feel like maybe the first number should be 5, because whatever reason. Well, but if but the correct date would start with 1,000. I know, but what I'm saying is... He specifically mentions that, like, he must have missed the subtlety, so I feel like they're talking about the March-January thing, so maybe we're just off by a year. So what, eight, nine? Um, try it. Still not working. I get the impression I counted the wrong way. It must be one year more then, right? Ah. Oh. They must have been suspecting that we would make that mistake. <laughs> I get the impression that the people playing this sort of know what they're talking about, but they don't quite get it. But it they. Says in me. <laughs> they don't Good know job, how Stacey. to count. You Th got it. Thanks. I do like that he says, I feel like I must have counted the wrong way. <laughs> Hit wink wink. Do you get it? <laughs> uh oh. What's going on in here? Go beyond the nightmare. Okay. Dear Lord Mortimer. I am uh, I'm writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on a national level and not allow every state to decide to choose their policy regarding slaves. It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters, and, unable to find any slaves on the run, they kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. The situation threatens to quickly degenerate. Thank you in advance, your friend, John Adams. P.S. Say hello to my daughter Elizabeth for me. Well, there's oh. a lot going on in this letter, and let's not, uh, yeah. Dear Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that our plans in Poland are set to fail. Russia and Prussia are working in cohort to bleed our dear Poland. We have no power here. We continue. Are you yawning at my reading? Yep. We continue to maintain pressure as best we can on the Prussian border as agreed in order to occupy Frederick William's army, but I do not know how long we can keep it up. Your devoted servant, Alfred Bauer. Alfred. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. Hmm. And it goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. Hmm. The author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? Brainwashing. My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. My printing house has been confiscated and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schlisselberg. If by chance you could intervene in my favor, I would be eternally in your debt. The Tsarina Catherine should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from her territory. Our horizon has become considerably darker. In the hope that you can help me, my, me, your friend, Nikolai Novikov. The 
gift has been delivered. Timur Shah Durrani, King of Afghanistan, of Punjab, of Sindh, of Mashhad, and of Kashmir, should not retain his title much longer. His son, Zaman, will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. K. So clearly, Lord Mortimer is well connected. Because this is all like political stuff from like across the globe. This shows the forces present in America. Oh, my, my dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered and help in the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Iran, a ship bound for Marseille, Marseille in France has been chartered. Hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with the plague that is decimating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful when handling these boxes, because if inadvertently opened, you risk spreading the disease all over France. Mohammed El Kabir. Kabir. My dear friend, as desired, I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find enclosed a list of my colleagues. These people. People. Uh, thank you, thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible. Hugh Smith. What is the Buttonwood Agreement? Hmm. Let's see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? Ah. The only the... clue she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like. From a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. You're just gonna take that message and not let them get it? So, the Buttonwood Agreement started the New York Stock Exchange oh. in 1792. Oh. Hmm. So, it was signed by a bunch of stockbrokers, and, you know, they did their own version of, like, here's what we say, you know. See, this guy's in on everything. He seems yeah. to know exactly who to talk to. Mm -hmm. My dearest Lord Murder Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. You need not worry about any scheming against us from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. McCartney, will leave with... Paul McCartney? Will leave with... That was a joke. Uh, I... Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up. We'll leave with no hope of any arrangements involving us. Your friend, Kian Long, Emperor of the King, King. King Dynasty. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear France. France. Don't you don't you think you can re don't think you can resist for long? I beseech you, William, not to persist. You are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. P.S. I shall come to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive? It seems as if they're like the secret leaders of the world. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Illuminati. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool if it was like this is like the secret society. This is about the time the real Illuminati was formed before it was taken apart in France by Beyonce. Well, before Beyonce, mm -hmm. be before Beyonce, BB. before Beyonce took over the, the became the reigning monarch of the Illuminati. Yeah. So like a long time ago in France. They formed the original Illuminati, which was about, like, anti-monarchy and pro-feminism and shit. And they made secret societies illegal. And then yeah. people were like, the Illuminati now does all these other things. And I'm like, you just think that name's cool. So. Are you looking it up? Yeah, I'm just looking at So the Order of the Illuminati was formed on May 1st, 1776. Ooh. So... The timing is right. It's given to, the name is historically given to several different groups, but 1776. 
So it all what matches up. It shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. 26 I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. 26 million! Oh my god. I think it's for Europe? My dear friend, have you, thank you for your words, and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily, but if the situation obliges me to declare war, then do what you think is you think fit. Under your advisement, and with a wary heart, I am off to meet up with the coalition that opposes you. In the hope of serving you again, George, King of Hanover, King of the of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. King of the United Kingdom, King, King, King. I'm really important. In case you forgot. Okay, um, so am I missing any letters? No, we read all this. We got those when we first came in. Okay. Quick scan. Uh, yep, got that okay. one. These are the ones when we first came in. I'm just double, triple checking. Don't want to miss anything. We, we, we'll miss stuff anyway. Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead as set down. I am to occupy what? the Prussian army. He wants pets. You ha your hands are free. This is a pet pup. I am okay. to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the king of Prussia of the invasion plans of Christine and the army of the north. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably, dishonorably and it is impossible for me not to intervene. Should you have any missives to give to me, I invite you to go by, as per usual, our friend, Monsieur Peru. Uh, sincerely yours, Charles Francois Dumouret, Dumouriez, General of the Army of the North. So I think this guy is playing both sides and wants it to come out in a very particular way. Yeah. He's controlling history, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't think this painting should exist yet. No? That is a painting. The clothing that they're wearing? No, maybe it is, just, it is correct. I mean, the pilgrims came over in, like, the 1600s, right? Never mind. Doesn't don't listen. An iron mask. <gasps> I wonder who it's for. That was the the political prisoner. Not from the movie. What? That iron mask. There was a from a political prisoner in France who nobody knew their identity, and eventually they were allowed to become a servant because they were assumed to be of noble birth. But nobody was allowed to see their face, so they put an iron mask on them that they could never remove. Hmm. There was a movie where they're like, what if it was king, what if it was twin, or whatever. Like, that's not true. But oh, you're talking about the man in the iron mask? Yeah. that That's the same, it's the same design. Oh. But, in reality, they were assumed to be of noble birth, or like some, like the child of someone who, like, rebelled. Mm -hmm. And they had some acclaim to something. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. And uh, they were a French prisoner, and eventually allowed to become a servant, but like never allowed to take the mask off. Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Look, there's brains in here. Or something. Brains! Dear Lord Mortimer, as agreed, I have changed your old lock for one of my invention. Drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. Guillotine, <laughs> here is the model of your new lock if you appreciate my prototype. It is difficult to imagine how it all fits together, but, we'll, but it will be located in the middle of the pr present door, the aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a bit of spice. Depending on the lineup of the wheels, an aforementioned lock will open, or punish the snooper who fails whose faith is not strong enough. Wait a second. What? Oh my god. I call my- That's why our mother has was missing a, f a hand. She was missing a hand? Yeah, in the very beginning, she was had- 
like she was like had her hand on us and she was missing her hand i think they're saying mr guillotine just oh. inspired me you have to stick your hand in the lock and, and get, it, get right, it right it cuts, it cuts your hand. hand oh is that what that's what the lock was out on his thing right yeah so i think that's why our mother was missing her hand yeah. I hope you appreciate the... Okay. I call my invention the judgment of faith because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, they will be punished. I hope you appreciate the irony of the situation. Gustave Montrant, master architect. So, the man in the iron mask, um, most of what you said is true. However, the part about it actually being an iron mask is only a theory mm. because most documents say that it was a mask of black cloth. Uh. And that, but the theory is that it was a mask made of iron and that it was the, he was the older illegitimate brother of Louis the Fourteenth, which is where the movie idea comes from, I think. Oh, maybe he was about. a bastard child? Not like that was that was someone's theory. Like out of wedlock child. Well, no. Uh, if he was the older illegitimate brother, they would Louis would obviously want him to be in prison because he wouldn't want anybody to have designs on the throne. Yeah. So if so, Louis was like the daughter of the queen, but there was an older son who was the son of whatever. Wait. I mean, do, Louis was the son of the queen, but if there was like an older son from a mistress who also had good standing, mm -hmm. then he could have claim to the throne. Yeah. So he, but he was like, I don't want to kill my brother. Well, I don't know if he would actually have claim to the throne, but like they wouldn't want there to be any question. They would just want to get rid of him so that there was like no... Well, the way the French court worked is that like an illegitimate son could like rally up support from people who already want to hurt him. Yeah. So... I just, I can't remember which of the courts like the like illegitimate children actually like could take the throne any illegitimate child so long as it's the king's child mm. basically cuz the king could just go yeah that one that one like yeah. if the, he wanted to yeah cuz they're they're actually like literally speaking for god so mm. they can do whatever they want a skeleton by the name of gustav if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton that's morbid. But it also oh, depends... The right hand is missing. ...on the political power of the queen as well. So, like, with King Henry, the guy who killed a bunch of his wives, she, the Queen Catherine was able to still make it so her daughter was still legitimized because she was the, the aunt to the King of Spain, who was, like, a really big guy. And she was also the aunt to the to the emperor of Italy or something like that. So, like, she still had enough pull to make sure that her daughter had some legitimacy no matter what. Mm -hmm. So this skeleton is named Gustav and his right hand is missing. So I would assume that this is not just an anatomy skeleton. This, this is, is the body of somebody who tried to open the lock, <laughs> got their hand chopped off, and then they were like, oh, shit. And uh, then they died. And he's like, well, keeping you as a trophy. Yep. So which one's Gustav? That, oh my god! That, that guy! <laughs> oh my god, this guy's brutal. Oh wait, so he's the guy that created the lock? He created the lock, and here's Gustav. A wait. skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. So yeah, so he created Mortimer's the lock. Mortimer's to his anatomy skeleton. That's morbid. <laughs> what the fuck? That's oh, fantastic. The right hand is missing. Okay. Maybe he was like, now demonstrate, do it! Mm -hmm. And, um... What was I going to say? It kind of reminds me of that guy who invented that bull torture device, and then the king was like, all right, put him in it. Wait, ball torture? Bull. Bull? So there was this, in ancient Greece or some shit, they, this guy created a way to torture people by, trigger warning, this is like uh, creepy, uh, you put the person inside of a brass bull, and it's uh, empty. Oh, uh, uh, what are you saying? A bull, like the animal, bull. A bull. Like a brass bowl. You put them inside of an animal? You put them inside of a brass bowl. Okay. The sculpture of a brass bowl. Okay. Okay, and it's hollow inside. Uh -huh. And there's some tubes going around. Mm -hmm. So that you put them in there and you lock them inside and you light a fire underneath them. So their screams sound like a bowl, like mm. going, Oof. And then the king was like, this is great, I love it. Put the person who designed it inside of it. Why? I 
don't know. He's a dick. Just because? Yeah. I don't know. Just like, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I could come up with that, dude. That's weird. You do it. I I mean, I could see that that doing it to somebody who created a lock because you don't want anybody else to know how to open the lock, you Mm -hmm. know? It's kind of like that guy who put the designer of the labyrinth inside the labyrinth. Yeah. It looks like obsidian or onyx. Must weigh a ton. It looks like some sort of magic shit. Ah, uh, I know. Something strange about this table. The little surgeon's perfect collection. Discovered immunity, science. It added to an inventory? What? <laughs> Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. It, mean, it means we discover that he's immune to, Something like, strange about this stuff to reference his science. Okay, so this looks like some sort of dissection table, you know? Mm-hmm. This is there to look at. Dear Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Travancore and personally cut the throats of as many Englishmen as possible, through, though without help from the French. I cannot hold them off much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us. Tipu Sa- Sahib? Sahib. 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 Sultan of Mysore? Mysore? Mysore. I don't know. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? You wanna look up the <sighs> that would surprise me. You want to look up the meanings we got? Do you know what they are? Uh, temperance. Read the draw. Damn it, we don't know occultism. Yeah. Some goat skulls, chicken legs, three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Those might be coffin nails, which is used for dark magic. My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Coinage Act has been voted. Your project of founding the very first Bank of America should not be delayed and will probably be called Union Bank. As for the construction of the White House, it is still die to begin in October. I will accept no delays. You can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. Oh, look. A table of alchemical elements. So... Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. Will you look up the table of alchemy so we can see which one is being circled, if you don't mind? Yeah. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Zinc? Let me see. So, zinc. So, he needs sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. He's very, he's very stressed out about getting some sunscreen. that actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. Fire symbol on it. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. We need to find the right key. Go find your mother. Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. 
see. Let's see if we can one more look around for the key. Hold on, just see if you can that box. It does it actually like let you look at stuff in that box? Not that box. The one with the the drawer open. No, just okay. the stuff next to it. A letter. front room. I don't recall seeing any keys in here, but Weakness of the Human Psyche by Gihem Trimor. Hmm. He says it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition, it's locked. So we need to find our mother. Do we just like... Don't stick your hand oh, in anything. Shit. How am I going to get out of here now? Just reverse it. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Alright, so... The opposite... We want it to be one on the other side. So... 